Hello, I'm Jeff and uh, we're going to be doing some camping, sort of, uh, my side yard, neighbor's house right there, but I uh, just wanted to uh, have y'all follow along. Got a uh, ice fishing hut here, gonna go ahead and set that up. And uh, that's the setup. Right, let's step inside real quick. I haven't. So it's uh, no bottom, but I'm not too worried about that at the moment, really. I mean, I'm not bothered by it, but got these uh, like fabric, like removable, and th these are these little screens are removable, but I'm not too worried about that just yet. Yeah, it's a, it's a good tent. And a lot of y'all may be asking, why camping in your side yard? Well, uh, campgrounds that I'm no, I know of in Louisville are all booked up. And there's a hip camp app that we could use, but we decided to do this kind of last minute. And we got a little fire pit. Wife and I, she's going to join me. And, and it's also a... Um, just kind of getting our, you know, dipping our toes into uh, some winter camping. So uh, let's get this, uh, let's get this all set up. Lovely view. Got it. So this thing here, I've actually slept on this before, actually just a couple weekends ago. And um, I mean, you're off the ground like yay much, but hey, you're still off the ground. And it's not too bad, really. Folds out. Yeah, just like a stretcher would. Push these uh, side handles down or 
might help if I stretch it all out. I don't know if the dogs will like it, but it's something for them. Hell, if I slept on it, the dogs can. You know what I'm saying? All right, all the hard work is done. Tents up. Cots are up. Check one, two, three, four. Now, as uh, one of my favorite YouTubers and the guy who inspired me to go out camping more Steve I'll leave a uh, link in the, the, the description uh, camping with Steve good guy but after you set up everything that's step one a beer step two step two today is two hearted L Steve Thanks for the inspiration, buddy. Hmm. Man, this is a good beer. So we're gonna bring them along in there. Ow. Hey. We're gonna bring them along in there later. wife wants to camp she wants to get into it but she's a little concerned about it you know being cold which is you know that's a good thing to be concerned about but it's uh we're setting it up as if we went out camping somewhere during the winter and kind of what to expect we got a beautiful day right now like i'm just in a just one flannel and feel great but uh it's supposed to drop down to 27 and uh so that's that's pretty cold and uh but it should be good between the sleeping bags and uh dang, mr buddy heater and the dog's body heat and you know, i think we'll be just fine all right wife uh, has joined me we decided to kind of experiment since we're right next to the house is to see how much space we can really get up in here you know what i mean so this cot holly and i can fit in that one i showed y'all earlier this one's more of a a single person's cot i don't know if we can fit the structure in here with it. so far hey hey it's tight though I don't know about this stretcher though. Let's uh, push that in the corner for now. Which, hell, that fits. Uh, grab one of these deer. But yeah, if we say say we had another friend or something, this would, I think this would work out just fine. And if we get, uh, you know. Now listen, we put the dogs on here for real. Yeah. I was telling them about the size of that cot. That's technically like an oversized cot. And uh, so for us to still have plenty of room. I'm gonna put it right next to it. Uh, well. To see if we can fit another cot in here. I want to get maximum cut. I want it to be a fire hazard. <laughs> well, my thing is, I don't want to make it too over. My wife, Holly, already got the fire going.
All righty. I'm having uh, the two-hearted L, but my wife here is a. Uh, she wants a cider fireball. So we're gonna put some cider in the kettle here. <clears throat> oh, that good enough? All right. <laughs> and you can get them smaller. I know there's like smaller ones out there, but I don't mind, you know, the space or what have you. But we're gonna warm it up on that right there. Get the uh, lighter. This in frame here. that warm up and then I guess what dear you want to I guess we put the cider and then put the fireball and then add the cider and there you go all right <laughs> uh, do you always stop uh yeah I don't... all righty I believe the cider is done um, for the the liquor it's like one shot I think ish that should be good ish and eh, one for the <laughs> one for the homies <laughs> don't mind if I do how about what I'm gonna edit that out. That's embarrassing. <laughs> I swallowed it weird. <laughs> Excuse me. Now for the cider. Ooh, that, that looks good, dear. Want me to taste test for you? Hey, pretty good. Got a good fire going. Tent's all up. Been doing, been drinking a little bit, you know. And uh, now it's time for dinner. I'm excited for this dinner. It's a uh, a vegan uh, chicken pot pie. First things first. Got some butter here. And, uh, you know, it's not real butter, but it's uh, butter nonetheless. What's funny is that, you know, most butter that's so it is, like, I can't believe it's not butter. That's technically vegan. So, uh, take it for what it's worth. That's a big piece of butter. And uh, we're gonna let this melt down. And uh, here. check that out right there, the big old piece right there. Let's try to cut this bad boy in half. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, nope, we got it. Oh, thanks, dear. You know what? You're great, dear. You are the bomb. Let that melt down there, and um, you don't have to bring the whole thing. But since we're right next to our house, it doesn't hurt. Add a little flour here. Mm -hmm. I'm just eyeballing half a cup, maybe. Roughly half a cup. Let this butter melt in with the uh, flour there. And anything that you have to chop, like if you're going out 
and I guess most people just do like hot dogs or hamburgers anyways but if there's anything that you need chopped at your house I would recommend just doing it at your house uh, but in here we got some potatoes celery onions uh, garlic and spices I got parsley garlic powder and what else did I put in here parsley garlic powder I put something else like oh onion powder maybe I don't remember did you like sage thyme rosemary anything like that no we didn't unfortunately I would but I couldn't find any in the uh, cabinet but I believe a uh, recipe in the description below <laughs> that's funny to say but uh uh, yeah, because I would recommend, oh, I put a uh, poultry seasoning. That's what it was. But go ahead and put that all in there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, already I can tell that the flour is thickening everything up. But if you don't want to chop anything up, I was on the fence about getting uh, diced potatoes in a can just because we're going to need to let these like simmer longer um, because they're regular potatoes. And that, up next, some peas. Oh boy. There we go. Man, that smells so good. Got some corn. Like I said, this is a stew, soup. You know, just your typical uh, camping recipe here. Now, Holly and I went to our local Walmart and found this um, vegan chicken uh, strips, which I've never had before. And uh, so I'm kind of, I'm actually um, interested in seeing what it's like. The box is cool. <laughs> I know most people get uh, weary about uh, vegan food, but I'll read off the ingredients right here. It's uh, filtered water, viral wheat gluten, which is just like a, it's a protein gluten. Uh, vital wheat gluten. Viral. Vital. Thank you. Flour, nutritional yeast, garlic powder, and onion powder. So I mean, it's nothing crazy. You know what I mean? So this is fire. Oh yeah, this is cooking. Just added the uh, vegan chicken. It's still kind of frozen. And uh, this here is uh, not chicken broth. You know what? It's, you know what the company's called, dear? Or whatever. That's what it's called. Wow. Oh. Well, you can find it. Not chicken broth is what it's called. But uh, I'm gonna add some of this to it. The uh, vegan chicken is still all uh, frozen together, so that will separate over time. And add some water. And 
And I'm feeling... That's a Louisville water in a smart bottle. Yep. And I'm feeling a little, feeling a little feisty. Oh yeah. I don't wanna mess up our, I wanna add a little touch of beer. Give this a good stir. And wife Holly got me a lid and now we just sit back and enjoy the smells check on it here in a few It's been 12 minutes, and I am going, ooh, oh my word, look at that deer, honey, that flour is really uh, thickening the meal here. And I'm just going to judge the uh, doneness of this uh, recipe based off of how, uh, okay, whatever. Well, you could stab the potato. Well, I can scoop it. Well, I meant like to poke it, because if you poke it, it'll be, if your fork goes through the potato, it's done. My fork, I can just also eat it. Well, you can be watching. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> But it's cool. I'm gonna add a little bit more water. I think overall this is an easy camp recipe. You know, just chop up what you can at your house. Oh, got a leaf in there. Chop up what you can at the house and you know, you can put your flour in like a little Ziploc bag and easy peasy. Oh yeah. Good. This should be, woo, should be pretty, uh, should be pretty close to being done, if not done. Give a good stir, grab one of these potatoes. Hmm. Oh yeah. That is done. I'm excited to try this because that just that potato by itself was delicious. Dear, you mind handing me a, a bowl there? I get a close up on this. A little vegan chicken pot pie. All right, let's try this out here. Let's see how it turned out. Get one of these uh, vital wheat gluten, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm. That is good. Very chicken pot pie-like with the poultry seasoning. And the, the parsley. It's good. All right, let's chow down.
Hey, hey, folks. Just been sitting here enjoying the fire for a bit. Probably uh, going to be hitting the hay soon. Holly and I decided to glamorize a little bit since we're right next to the house. It ran a extension cord to the tent. Gonna watch a little TV probably. Some, some Netflix. But we justified it by... I know people who camp and they'll like bring their laptop and listen and watch movies or whatever so it's pretty much like that i think but i'll show you the setup when we get inside later slept pretty good this is how cold it got last night it's pretty cold pretty frosty in the car there but I think we held up Yep, a little chilly in here. Opened up some windows, but uh, Pour over. Yeah. Coffee in there. Take your mug. That. And then uh, hot water. Easy enough. Done. Wife is uh is uh still asleep. Ooh. Strong. Whew. Has a strong cup of joe. Didn't go off. Not dead. <laughs> It's 
So we ran the uh, extension cord from the house to the tent. I know it's cheating, but uh, we got a little adventurous after a couple uh, step twos, if you know what I mean. The extension cord. everybody we're gonna put start putting things up and uh, get started on the day appreciate y'all following along and uh, you know like and subscribe to stuff like this and other randomness but uh, it's gonna Put stuff up, take her down. That's about it. I want to let it dry out a little bit. But, uh, thanks everybody. <laughs>